And that, my friends, is a step over. Do re mi fa so la he is go loo. All right, guys, we've got every single step over variation you've ever heard of and some ones that you haven't. Let's go. All right, guys, so what we got for you are all the sick step overs that you can know in a game and do in a game, of course. So what we got here, first off, everybody knows a normal step over. The only things you guys want to know, and if you want to check out more about that, we got videos, click on that up here, maybe there, I don't know. All right, first things first, when you step over the ball, or scissors as some guys call it, you step, you lean, my body goes like this, press the ball there, I explode, okay? So that's the basics. If you want to learn more about the basics, check out that video. But for this one, we're going to go straight into the complex stuff. So this first one is a drag, the drag step over, right? Where I drag the ball from behind me, keeping the ball here, and then I do the step over, and then I go this way. There's a lot available to you when you do this move, and if you do it a bit faster, I spring forward like that, step like that, I can cut back, whatever. But if you wanna to add to this, what I do is, I do an inside step over, then I do an outside step over, and then I can go. So look at me now as I do it a little bit faster, like that, in, back, there and out but the lead up is the drag robinho does it excellently all right so that's somebody to watch check out his highlights and see how to do this perfectly all right so this is one that we've shown in a move of the day a little while back you should make sure that you know it because it's useful to just get that shot off or just get that cross in all right so if i wanted to go outside right here and i just Let's say, boom, I settle the ball here like this. The goal is right here. You need a move that's gonna get you there in one, two, all right? Not a lot of dance and not a lot of stuff right outside the box, which means touch inside, step over, explode. Extremely useful and extremely quick. If you got the ball, boom, you settled it here. The guy's right there, there and then roof it, all right? That's the move, that's it. We don't need to show that whole bunch, okay? But I only want you guys to know, if you're doing it right-footed, take your touch in, really take that touch for real. Don't just pass it like that and then try and catch up to it and go, no, 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 no. There, over, there, all right? Notice how it's fluid, there. That's what's gonna create the real opportunities for you to put the ball in the back and then after the move, okay? All right, so this one is coming from our boy Neymar who loves the step overs, as we know. It's what we call the faint step over, all right? So what he likes to do, and he does this a lot standing. So Neymar will catch the ball a lot. You guys know he'll do all sorts of stuff like this, but this one is excellent because he throws a faint like this, he steps over it like that, okay? And you can still do this on the move which is a very important key on step overs. As long as you're doing a good step over, if you go like this, move forward a little bit, and then go, that's gonna save you a lot. But for the faint step over, what you wanna know is you're dribbling like this, there, all right? You might think that looks stupid, you might think it's weird, but at the bottom line, at the end of the day, it works, and you want what works, and that's what we're gonna give you, okay? So going like this, if you're right-footed, like that, a little dangle, step over and go. If I was completely standing, I could go like this, come back over, and then move out like that. All right, that's the move. Make sure to practice these, that way you can do it in the game. All right, so this one is a multiple step over. And you guys know this, it's the double step over. First one, we'll talk about the double step over because that's what you can use right now to get off a shot. I think our boy Cristiano Ronaldo just scored a goal with a double step over in the Nations League. And that's all you guys need to know. This one sets you up for a shot too, all right? So when you're dribbling, I want you guys to notice that the little touches you take before you do a step over are the most important. So I don't necessarily do a double step over by pushing the ball out here like this and then trying to catch up like that. I wanna create a little bit of acceleration. 
So as I'm taking my touches forward, I'll, I'll lean like this. One, two, and that gets my body and all my motion going like this. So I come like this, and then I do two step overs and go that way. Know this, if you wanna go left, you start your step over on your left. If you wanna go right, you start your step over on the right. When you're only doing double step overs, okay? Why? Because I wanna go to my strong foot. If I'm right footed and I wanna shoot there, just like Ronaldo did, I take my touches here, one, two, that puts me on my right foot to take that shot. So when you're going to do a double step over, know that you're planning for that. You are planning to take a shot. I come at you, one, two, and then I'm out. And because I'm out, I can get that shot. You know that beforehand. It's one of the few moves that you know you can plan and you should know what you're gonna get right after it, okay? All right, so now after doing double step overs right in front of goal, now we've got some stuff, some real Samba, some real sick ass moves. This is the multiple step overs, the crazy step overs that you really get going, okay? And to do this, you have to make sure that the ball is still rolling. So you might get to this point dribbling, you might start to do step overs like this. If the ball stops, your momentum stops, everything stops, not gonna work, all right? So depends on what style of step over you like. You're gonna have to create your own, but there are guys out there that you can mimic a little bit until you figure out what you're doing. So as I come at you like this, I push the ball like this, one, two, I might come again, one, two, three, or I might come really fast and three, like this, okay? If you're on the wing, you might have space to do that. Right in front of goal, you're probably not. As we move back here, what you really have to know about all of this is that it just has to be fluid, okay? You're not gonna know if you're gonna do six, if you're gonna do four. The defender will give you that. All you need to know is make it quick. Maybe you take a stop, inch up a little bit. There's no chance he's gonna be diving in while you're doing all this. If he is, he's crazy, okay? He can't see the ball properly. The best thing for him to do is contain a little bit, wait for you to stop, and then bite. So, like that. All right, that's it. All right, guys, that's the vid. Leave us a like, comment down below if this video helped you out. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Check us out on Instagram, Snapchat. Check out Gloria.com. It's badass, and we will see you guys later. Peace. Yo, Ray, me, Fasola, hit his go, Lou, Ray, me, control all them boys from Kansas City, where they know we got them.